Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Optic Straight Roundtable. Today we will talk about rangefinders presented in 2020. As you can see, we are all wearing masks. This is because of the very strange year we had. Masha, can you tell us what was with hunting fairs this year? Yeah, this year's hunting fairs uh, only was happening SHOT Show in uh, January. And then EVA in March was first postponed till September. Uh, and then it was cancelled. And also the fairs in uh, the next year's, uh, in 20 2021, uh, are now cancelled also. So not a lot of fairs happening this year. Yeah, we had um, online presentations this year as far as mm -hmm. presenting novelties is concerned. But um, because I, we think that many manufacturers counted on SHOT Show and EVA taking place, yeah. they waited. But now that they know that these fairs are cancelled, we can already see that since October till now, uh, more online presentations are taking place. And we believe that in the start of 2021, this is going to continue. Yeah. Yeah, everybody waited from March to September, at least in Europe, uh, for the EVA, if it will happen, because the pandemics, coronavirus pandemics, nobody thought it's going to be so serious at the beginning. And now, after September, when EVA was cancelled, there was quite a lot of presentations and there is more and more new players in this category, new brands and new products. And also the price levels are going down really rapidly. Uh, four years ago, all range finding binoculars were like 2,000 euros plus. This year we saw the cheapest one was below 1,000 euros even. Okay, so let's start with range finder monoculars. First, we have here Kales RFM 7x25. Kales uh, range finder was presented at SHOT Show 2020. Yeah, and Kales is actually following the trend with uh, presenting this monocular this year. I think around three years ago, uh, Carlos did introduce um, binoculars with laser range finding uh, capability. So this year they put it here in a little monocular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it's a normal trend for Carlos. Uh, <clears throat> as you probably know, Carlos is owned by Swarovski. And Swarovski is, I would say, testing a new business model, at least new in Europe. It's completely common in the US. In the US, all optical manufacturers outsource their production. Uh, in, in Europe, it's completely the opposite. Almost all the brands produce everything by themselves. And Swarovski started to do this with Kales to outsource the production uh, with exactly with the binoculars, yeah. with the range finding capabilities. And then it followed with, uh, with uh, this monocular. This monocular is made in Myanmar, formerly mm -hmm. Burma. Really funny because we didn't see many products from there. Um, but it has distinctive colors, look and feel to it. Uh, so they change uh, the the look. I think three years ago. Yeah, right? yeah, completely From new. The, their blue color to orange and brown. So I think that this is really a colors design. Yeah, yeah modern distinct. looking. Yeah, yeah, now even if you hide the colors logo, yeah. you will see immediately. Yeah. What I do have to point out is that this model has. Uh, the capability of calculating the equivalent horizontal range. So if you're hunting in the mountains or if you're someone where the terrain is hilly <coughs> uh, and if you, if you do a lot of inclined shots, this will definitely come in handy. And on top of that, it can measure a distance up to 2000 meters. And I think that when we were in yeah. Austria, you tested that, right? Yeah, when we were at Swarovski, when it, we hunted in the Alps and so on, we tested it and it consistently measured 1800, 1900 meters on, on the rocks normally, but still it works really well. Uh, how much uh, is the price? Yeah, it's around 550 euros. Oh, so I it, thought it's 400 or something. I was wrong. Yeah. But okay, it, it offers quite a lot for yeah. this money, I would say. Yeah. It's a bit pricey? Mm, maybe a bit, yeah. I expected a bit less. I was not... We have 70,000 products in our <laughs> store. I don't know every, every price. single demo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So... Um, yeah, okay. The next novelty in this year is uh, from Leica. They introduced Rangemaster uh, 3500.com. Uh, we have here the Rangemaster 2800.com because we don't have the actual uh, monocular here. Um, so this is this year's like a novelty. Um, Andras, what are yeah, the main features? The, the yeah. biggest feature I would say is the, that they now have Bluetooth com compatibility. 
and you can basically connect it to a smart smartphone uh, like a hunting app which is really intuitive to use really really modern looking and so on and you can basically transfer the ballistic data of your ammunition uh, via bluetooth to the device mm -hmm. uh, on previous models you had to do that with a micro sd card which was somewhat inconvenient now this is uh, this works better and it also has an advanced ballistics calculator so it can actually if you insert your bullet uh, so the the ballistic drop the ballistic drop yeah, yeah. it can calculate the the holdover or the correction and clicks so mm -hmm. really useful and it's really really advanced yeah yeah it's, it is it enables you really long shots and as the name says um, the measurement is 3500 yards, yards. yards. Yeah. exactly yeah. Really or, <laughs> or 3200 meters way more than anyone would need <laughs> in <Yeah>. reality <laughs> uh Spela, why do we, why don't we have here the 3500.com model why we yeah, have only 2800 um, because later in uh, the year they announced that this rangefinder will be only available for the US market, unfortunately. It was a big shock. Yeah. It was a big shock. We were still hoping that they're going to uh, take that back and still <laughs> I'm launch sure. it in the European market. <laughs> I'm sure that sooner or later it will be available also in, uh, in the EU, but uh, for now it's only sold in the US. Now let's move on to binoculars with laser rangefinding capability. Delta Optical introduced their first product uh, with laser rangefinder. Uh, this is Delta Optical T uh, 9x45 RF HD. It's a long name. <laughs> it's a long name, yeah. 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 It's, it's a, a long one. name. It also comes in quite an unusual configuration. Yeah. It comes yeah. with 9 times magnification and a 45 millimeter objective lens. They really stand out. They it's like nobody really else produces them. Stand out of the crowd. Yeah. And this product from Delta Optical is actually the most expensive one. Yeah. Um, and also, as other Delta products, um, price and performance ratio is really good. You mm -hmm. probably meant the most expensive in the binoculars category, right? Yeah. yeah. It's by far, it's two times more expensive than any binocular they ever introduced. Yeah, they so cost it's really... uh, 1,300 euros. Yeah. yeah, and all other binoculars of uh, Delta Optical are usually around 300 euros, 400 euros. It does measure to 2,400 meters. So, and in, in reality, on a little bit less uh, refracting surfaces, it still measures 2,000 meters. So it's worth the money, definitely. Yeah, and the design, I really like the design. Uh, it's green features with uh, new Delta uh, lo logo uh, in blue color. Um, and these buttons are really nicely hidden. Here. Yeah, w within the bridge, right? Yeah. With these binoculars, they are competing directly against Kales Helia Rangefinder, against Zigzar Kilo 3000 BDX, uh, against Vortex Fury, and against the new Minox X Range 10x42. Yeah, it's it's uh, the whole crowd. I think like everybody wanted to produce 1,500 euros binoculars with uh, range finding capabilities. Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, uh, Minox introduced their first range finder binoculars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Delta. So this like Delta. Is their first. Uh, as we can see, the design is again very yeah. Minox, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, it also has magnesium housing, Yeah. right? And uh, it's priced at uh, 1,500 euros, as, it, yeah. as we said. So Like the whole group, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that optically in this category, it's definitely among the best ones. If not the best. If not the, the best. apparent field of view is definitely the best among all 1,500 euros binoculars with the ranger, uh, laser range finding capabilities. By what far. do you all think about the eyepieces? Are, do you like them? Or I would say that they could be done a little bit better perhaps. Yeah. I wear glasses. So for me, they're okay because I always have them in the lowest possible position. It's okay. But when you put them out, you probably saw it. It's, it could use a yeah. little bit more yeah, resistance. resistance yeah. 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 It would be better this way. Uh, well, it's their first laser range finder. You can't blame them. Yeah, yeah. you can blame very them. Great it's still very great. It's still good, yeah. 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 It measures, measures to 2,800 meters. Uh, it's declarated, however, uh, on animals, uh, humans, and so on, it's roughly 1,600 meters or something like that. Very similar, more than enough for, for any kind of use. I also think that it's one of 
among the best buys in this class. If Definitely. Delta is really mm -hmm. affordable, 1,300 euros or even a little bit less, uh, I would say that Minox is probably has an edge in optics against all the competitors. And that puts us uh, yeah. towards the elephant in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is like a geovit uh, 3200.com. And it's not a website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's not a website. Dot com actually, uh, what, what, that is, what does it mean? Yeah, it means basically that it comes with Bluetooth connectivity, similar to rangemasters.com, which were introduced first. Uh, it can be connected to a smartphone app. Uh, Leica makes it, so it's very intuitive, mm -hmm. very easy to use. And you can transfer your ballistic information um, to the device over the hunting app, and it will ca calculate the bullet drop correction either in hold holdover or with clicks, you know, MOA or or uh, milliradians. Yeah, so it has all the good stuff from HDB and dot com series. Yeah, I just mentioned uh, the dot com. What about the HDB? So it has Paragon four prisms. What else? And I would say the best optical performance. Uh, in this class, it's always, you know, size, Swarovski, Leica, and so on, but I would say with the laser range finding binoculars, Leica still has an edge. They were the first one they introduced this product in 1992. So I, th I think that they still have a little bit of, of an edge above everybody else. And we know when HDB came out, it was almost a revolution how good optically was, and this one just continues. It's, it's equal in this regard. Uh, what was for me really interesting is that the price didn't change. There are three models, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's Yeah, uh, uh, 8 by 42, 10 by 42, and 8 by 56. And the prices were the same, like with an uh, HDB before that. It was, it's completely the same, so they mm -hmm. didn't raise the price, yeah. they just added the features. And what was really interesting is that they were thinking about these features already at the introduction of the HDB. I remember I was in Germany at that time, uh, at uh, Leica headquarters and they said that they have a lot of room in the housing where they can put additional technology in for the future and now they did it five, six years afterwards. And HDB yeah. is now discontinued. Yeah. You no longer need a micro SD card to no. transfer the ballistic data. Really great product. If you can afford it, go for it. Yeah, and an open bridge. Yeah. 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 And magnesium housing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pergapore yeah. prisms yeah. which are unique and so on. Yeah. yeah. I think we covered all the novelties in this year. Yeah. Uh, so if you liked our videos, uh, please check out others. See you in the next video and please subscribe. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.